Now I'm going to show you how to pick PMS colors in InDesign. And I'd like your InDesign to look like mine. So up here in this top thing, I have Book Selected. It's the one I prefer to use, Book or Advanced. It, when you open your program for the first time, it'll be set on Essentials. But I feel like Book or Advanced is a little bit more professional. So right now we're going to, normally your panels are over here or wherever they are. And I'm going to hit Swatches. And I want, want to add a new color swatch. So new color swatch. And you have a color type. There's two types, process and spot. Spot colors are Pantone colors. If you're doing a two color or three color job, you will be choosing spot colors. If you're doing a process job, four color process or six color process, four color is cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, um, you would choose uh, you know, process. You wouldn't. Ha you could just do process and do it here. So we want to make sure we're choosing spot, and we're going to go down and choose the correct Pantone book that we're choosing our colors from. You should always look at these in person, not just on screen. Everybody's screen is different, and most of them are not color calibrated. So we're going to be choosing solid coated. Coated because that's the paper stock that we're going to be choosing is a coated paper stock. If we were doing matte paper or uncoated paper, like a textured paper, more than likely those are uncoated. So if you ever had a metallic, you wanted to choose a metallic color or a pastel, there is a specific uh, Pantone book that is for those as well. But we're going to choose solid coated. And earlier I did a video for Illustrator. It's doing the same thing. So we're going to do the same color that we chose there and I'm gonna hit add and it automatically popped up here these are the process colors right here and then green red and blue which are on screen colors and this is kind of a hot pink that we chose and it's a spot color it has a triangle with a black dot in it that's how you know it's a spot color we're gonna choose another color before we get out of here say we're doing a two color job and I'm gonna choose Pantone 315 that C again remember is for coded I'm going to hit add. I could have hit OK. All right, now we've added two colors and we're done.